got to tell you, Windows 7 release candidate is a lot less of a resource hog than Vista was. Uh, when, when just basically having Outlook open uh, and minimized and Firefox and a couple other apps, um, Vista would uh, idle about 25% CPU, uh, CPU usage, and uh, Windows 7 release candidate about 5%. And instead of uh, having about 60% uh, of my RAM or more tied up, um, Windows 7 is uh, more around about 30, 30%, 35% of my system memory. So I'm really, really pleased about that as well. Um, Quick Launch, as I said, uh, has been replaced uh, by pinning your apps to the taskbar so it makes it more, uh, I guess you could say, OS X dock-like. I don't really like that analogy. I think Microsoft did an excellent job. You may not like it. Maybe you like the test bar. I mean, that's a, maybe it's a personal preference. A um, couple, some of the arrow effects are kind of useful. I kind of like the uh, arrow shake. Just basically uh, click on the title bar of an app, shake it a little bit. Everything else will minimize to the task bar. But just, uh, I do run a dual display setup. And so it's, but with XP and, and in my work, I have to have lots of windows and I'm copying and pasting and moving around. And it was very easy to kind of lose my location and lose a window and search around for that. Windows 7 has vastly improved my efficiency there. Uh, so I'm very, very happy with that. Um, the, the task tray has been cleaned up quite a bit over Vista, so it's a lot more usable and, and not, it's just ugly. Now, the case has been made that uh, Windows 7 and Vista are much more secure than uh, Microsoft Windows XP. I don't really want to get into that discussion today, but I will tell you uh, that uh, there's certainly been a lot that I've been reading out there and talking to other people that that is indeed the case. So, uh, But XP is uh, also a secure operating system if you do things uh, correctly. So, uh, I don't know if that's a major selling point or not. And finally, I'm going to talk about the speed of the system. Now, to me, uh, the perception is A, it does boot faster, B, it resumes from hibernation much, much quicker than, than Vista. Um, it's more fluid, in my opinion, than uh, Microsoft Vista. So the perceived speed of Windows 7 is definitely uh, uh, that it would be that it is much faster than Vista. Uh, there's been some um, there's been some uh, tests out there uh, that say, well, Vista is actually about as fast as Windows 7. All I can tell you is that if you work in the thing day in and day out, okay, I think you're going to notice that it is more fluid, it is, seems to be quicker, it's more responsive. I don't get my little blue hamster wheel thing anymore, the weight. Uh, I, don't, I don't get the hourglass, the equivalent of the hourglass anymore. I mean, it, I do once in a while, but it's very rare. And so that's real. That's legitimate. I've seen it with my own eyes. I put up with it every day. Couldn't wait to get rid of Vista just for that reason. Um, but there you go. And so it's a little bit more polished and a little bit more quicker. Now, there are some cons to Windows 7 as such. One, there's going to be like six US versions of this software. Instead of just one, like OS X, uh, Ubuntu, there's one version, unless you get the server version. But as far as client side, one version. I don't understand why Microsoft doesn't do that, why they got to make things so doggone complex. Um, it may require a hardware upgrade if, you want to if you're running an XP machine. Uh, not Vista, okay? I'm not talking about if you're currently running a Vista machine, but I'm looking at it as if you're looking to either buy a new machine or up or pay for an upgrade from XP to uh, Windows 7. The same caveat applies. If you want to take advantage of some of the cool glass effects and some of these other things, you may need a, a more powerful video card, faster processor, more memory, something of that nature. Um, there's no in-place upgrade from XP to Win 7. If you want to do that, then the one avenue is more or less you upgrade from XP to Vista and then from Vista to Windows 7. Now, that's as of today. Maybe Microsoft will figure something out between now and the day, the final release, but uh, that's the way it is as of right now. And finally, the value proposition. If you have a 
operational XP machine, you're happy with it, it's running the software, you know, does it make sense to go out and purchase an upgrade to Windows 7? Well, I, you know, I can't really make that case. Um, I just really can't make that case for you. Uh, if you're a home user and you're looking maybe to uh, upgrade your machine and, and the operating system, uh, get, you know, maybe uh, faster video cards and, and, and you want the, what is it, Direct X 10 uh, capability, then that's something you're, you're going to need to probably do. But as a business user, if you're fine and your apps are working A-OK -okay on, uh, on XP, there's really no business case I can think of to, to, to go to Windows 7 other than I think there is some performance. Uh, I, I think for me personally, I did get some improved productivity with the new taskbar uh, and some of, the, uh, some of the tools that come with uh, Windows 7. But is it worth, worth the, the pain and suffering you'll go through uh, from the upgrade process from XP to Win 7? If you've got a, a fine machine right now, I, I'd say probably not. Uh, if you've got currently a Vista machine, I think that's where things get dicey. I mean, I've had a lot of people say, hey, we're very pleased with Vista. It does this what we want to do. Then probably not that uh, compelling of a reason to go to Windows 7. The one thing that I did advise people on uh, and we've seen it a lot when people were purchasing new computers. Uh, they were choosing to use the downgrade option uh, to go from Vista to XP uh, and avoiding Vista altogether. I can't make that case with Windows 7. I think that uh, if you're going after new hardware, you know, Windows 7 is just going to be just fine for you. Um, and I think you're going to be really happy in it, uh, happy with it. So all in all, uh, I give Windows uh, Windows 7 release candidate. A big thumbs up. I think it's going to be a great improvement. It's definitely, I don't think, I know it's a big improvement over Windows Vista, in my opinion. Um, and certainly, uh, uh, I'm certainly more productive with it than I was with Vista. And uh, really, as far as that goes, is more productive than I was with XP. So I really like the release candidate. It's feature, uh, feature complete, as far as I know. And... Uh, there might be a few more minor tweaks to it, but I think pretty much the earliest candidate is uh, is what we're really looking at at the end. Listen, I'm Bruce Naylor. Uh, hey, if you got any general questions, anything you want to talk about, just shoot me an email at support at frugalfrugalbrothers.com or visit our website, frugalbrothers.com. Uh, starting uh, June 1st, uh, between 1 p.m. and 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we're going to be live uh, doing a live cast every two, uh, two hours a day through the weekday. So join us there for live chat and, uh, and check us out over there. Bruce Neal, your Frugal Tech. We'll talk to you later.